This is Dr. B, and we're going to write the net ionic equation for HCl plus NaOH step by step. So the first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation, and it's already balanced, so that's kind of nice. Then we write the states. I've written the states in for each one of these. Aqueous, that means they're dissolved in water, they're soluble. Then the liquid here, water, is a liquid. Those are the states. The next thing you do is you split the soluble compounds into their ions. That's going to give us the complete ionic equation. So we'll end up with hydrogens 1 plus, chloride 1 minus, sodium 1 plus. It's in group 1. This OH, polyatomic ion, that's the hydroxide ion. The whole thing is 1 minus. And then for water, it's a liquid. We're not going to split it up. So we have the charges, now we can split it up like this. So remember that OH minus, that's our polyatomic ion there, the hydroxide ion, and liquids, solids, we don't split them up. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. Chloride ion here and over here. Sodium here and here. But everything else, that's different, that's unique. So that's our net ionic equation. Let's clean it up. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for HCl plus NaOH. If you look at it, the charge is balanced. You have a positive and a negative. That cancels out. No charge over here. So charge is balanced. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. So now jump over to my well-loved video on net ionic equations, get some more practice, or visit my website, breslin.org, for more chemistry resources. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.